the first typhoon of 2014 has already formed out here in the western Pacific, Typhoon Faxi. Now, as far as typhoons are concerned, this one definitely not very pretty. And if you add a typhoon in March, I think this is definitely going to be a textbook example of what it will be looking like. A lot of vertical wind shear affecting the storm system. You can see here on the image I have on the screen, the top left is a track. Just towards the right is the visible satellite imagery. All that drier inflow wrapping around the storm system. Microwave imagery showed a small eye through the overnight hours. That's in the bottom left, but uh, since then, definitely falling apart. A little surprised JMA even up great at this but uh, around the center of circulation I would not be surprised if we do see winds rate around 120 gusting up to 176 kilometers per hour at this time but for the most part the storm system uh, is definitely on its last hurrah. And what I mean by that is we are seeing this abundance of vertical wind shear coming in from the northwest. And that's why we're seeing that rapid intensification just now. But then if we go ahead through the forecast, look at this, it, it rapidly de-intensifies. Take a look at the water vapor imagery. Actually, first I want to pull this up, this chart here uh, via Sims. And what we can see here is the upper level winds. And you see all these wind barbs into the higher levels. They're all racing off there towards the northeast. That is the jet stream we talk about. If we scroll down just a little bit, you can see that shear line right in here. That's that cloud cover getting blown off. And then the whole wind shear analysis right around 50 up to 100 knots off there towards the north. Storm systems can't survive in anything more than 10 to 15 knots, really. So once you get over that, it definitely is going to be falling apart. But what we are seeing is kind of this burst of exhaust aloft and what i mean by that is picture you blowing on a, a birthday candle if you blow on it just a little bit that candle kind of lights up just a little kind of like if you were starting a small fire but if you blow on it too much it blows it out and that's what we're seeing right here we're seeing a little bit of a light up and then it kind of starts to blow out and that's exactly what's happening all this air raid in here all this darker areas that you're seeing on your screen that's also the drier inflow combined with the vertical wind shear this storm system is going to raise northeast becoming a typhoon for a very short period of time if we go back to that graphic i showed you right at the start here uh you can see that the japan meteorological agency only expects it to remain up at that intensity before rapid, rapidly de-intensifying there in the bottom right you can see that wind speed uh chart with the history and the forecast so i'm actually a little surprised they upgraded this but it has been upgraded by the Japan Meteorological Agency. I know that JTWC uh, posted a right around 15 UTC or about midnight Japan Standard Time, about 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in Guam. Uh, they did upgrade it to a typhoon as well, but they're just the U.S. military, not a non-official agency. But they're just really keeping this at the same overall forecast. As far as it's impacting anybody, there is a small island there uninhabited uh, on the northwestern periphery of this. It's just going to race northeast. No one's really being affected by it. There is still high, or, yeah, high surf advisories and small craft warnings in effect for the island of Guam, but this is more just due to the swells coming off of our storm system. So with that said, uh, yeah, that is all. Just a quick update just to say, yes, 2014 off to a quick start. Uh, already seen two named tropical systems that both affected the Philippines. Now, well, Typhoon Faxi, the first name, uh, Typhoon of 2014. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them down there into the comment box below. And as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Please stay safe out there. Bye.